In this case, we have a young patient who came to our practice to have her wisdom teeth extracted. We prepared a digital volume tomography with an Orthophos XG 3D 8 centimeters field of view. This here is the situation when she came to us. These are the bite wings. In some areas there's decalcification in the approximal region and a small area of decay in the approximal region. The surprise came when we took a look at the DVT image in a transverse cross-section and in a longitudinal cross-section. At the base of the fissures we can see the light area quite clearly indicating decay in this area by the fissure and in the approximal areas. We then changed our plans and we didn't extract the wisdom teeth but instead we opened up the fissure and we saw that there was decay on nearly all of the side teeth. This is now the situation during or after the decay has been removed. In one area of the upper seven the decay actually reached to the pulp. We scanned this into CEREC 4.0 and constructed it. Here we can see the biogeneric suggestion which was right first time. The same applies to the upper jaw. We drew in the preparation margins. We determined the axis of insertion and calculated the biogeneric suggestion. Tooth 1.6 was left out, so we're going to start that one separately. The inlays were milled out of IPS Empress CAD and were fitted the same day. This is the situation afterwards. So the situation before. Moving on to the preparation. Moving on to the scan. To the construction. And completion. The same was done in the lower jaw, the situation before, when the decay was removed, after the scan, the complete construction, and then after fitting. The surprise in this case was that, judging by the bite wings, you wouldn't have expected such extensive decay. And that vig digital volume tomography, which is supposed to be unsuitable for detecting decay, proved to be more reliable than the bite wings in this case.